Hi everybody, Keith Abraham here. I wanted to reach out and talk to you a little bit about what you need to focus on moving forward over the next couple of months. You know, for the last 18 years, I have been studying high performance leaders, high performance salespeople, high performance athletes, and I've been looking at what makes them tick, what makes the smart, intelligent person set realistic, tangible goals and achieve them or not achieve them. And what it comes down to is the emotional connection. So with your goals, you need an emotional connection, a mental connection, and a physical connection. Of the 135 different emotions you can experience, 64 of them are positive, and they break down into what I call eight goal drivers. So I want to talk about the goal drivers. You would have seen me talk about this before, but I want to ask you eight specific questions on what you need to focus on over the next couple of months as you set yourself up for a great 2021 getting 2020 past behind us and so that we can move forward. We need to have a vision for the future, not a memory of the past as Dr. Joe Dispenza would say. So what are those eight key goal drivers? Here's the first one. People wanna feel a certain way. People want to feel successful. People wanna feel purposeful. People wanna feel inspired. People wanna feel happy. People wanna feel organized. People wanna feel respected. People want to feel confident and people want to feel relaxed. So here's the question I've got for you. In the next two months, how do you want to feel? And as you watch this video, grab a pen and some paper and jot down what is not only how you want to feel, but more importantly, what goal do you need to achieve? So let me ask you those questions. If you want to feel successful, next six months, next two months, you pick the time frame, pick what works best for you. Maybe you think, Keith, I just want to get through this and get into 2021. Or Keith, I just want to have a great foundation to build upon in 2021. Whatever works for you is the way to go here. So let me ask you the question. So if we're talking successful, here's the question I want you to ponder. What do you want to achieve this year in the next two months for you to feel successful, for you to feel successful. Now, you gotta understand that often I'll ask the question, if I had 30 people in a room in a workshop presentation, if I had 300 people, if I had 3,000 people, and I asked them what's their definition of success, everybody would give me a different, different definition, and that's okay. But what I'd like you to do is, now that you've identified how you wanna feel your goal driver, and now you want you to think about what's the goal I need to achieve so can, I can experience that emotion. So first question, what do, you wanna, what do you feel like you need to achieve in the next two months, finish off this year to feel successful? Purposeful, same question. What do you need to, to achieve in the next two months to feel purposeful? Now often when I share these goal drivers, people will say, Keith, I actually wanna feel all eight of those. And that's okay. So you're gonna need eight goals, aren't you? So if we look at it, what about inspired? What would you have to feel like you've achieved next two months to feel inspired or inspiring? What about happy? You know, people say, oh, I just want to be happy, Keith. Great, oh, fantastic. Great goal. Great emotion. Tell me what the goal is. For you to be able to feel happy, what do you need to achieve? If we talk about being organized, if a sense of organized, feeling the emotional connection organized, here's the question I've got for you. What do you need to achieve to feel organized? When COVID first hit, this was one of my goal drivers. This is what was driving me. This was my opportunity to stop and just take a breath and catch up on things around me. Personal things, professional projects that I'd been pushed off to one side in the business. I just didn't have time. I was traveling so much, speaking in 100 presentations a year. Still doing more than 100 presentations now in a COVID environment, but without all the travel. So organized. How would, what do you need to achieve to feel organized in the next? See, respected is one of my overall goal drivers. I want to feel respected in my industry. I want to feel respected by clients. So, but to be able to do that, I want to be able to add value. So what do you feel like you need to achieve in the next two months to feel respected, confident? Hey, listen, everybody wants to feel confident. Everybody wants to lift their self-confidence, their self-esteem, their self-image. And so what do you feel you need to achieve 
for you to feel confident moving in 2021. And then of course the last one here is what do you feel like you need to achieve to feel confident, to feel relaxed? What do you feel like you need to achieve to feel relaxed? What do you what would that have to be? Some people struggle. I know I do a little bit sometimes to feel relaxed, to just to get off that treadmill and be okay by being okay with doing nothing, letting the world catch up with me. So what's that goal you need to achieve? In each of those eight areas, you pick the one that's most important to you, but if you want to do all eight, that's a great place to start and a different way to look at goal setting. Remember this, we're not going to go through change, you and I are going to grow through it. And the more we grow through change, the more we become better, the best version of ourselves rather than the second best version of someone else, the more it sets us up to achieve what's important, what matters, and what makes a difference to us. Hey, thanks very much for watching. Talk to you real soon. Bye now.